Now, having the goal of aligning artificial intelligence, there's also a big opportunity. We can align it and to achieve goals that we haven't achieved before, especially collectively. This generative artificial intelligence here, also from Meta, from the same company, parent company of Facebook and Instagram, learned how to play a strategy game called Diplomacy. That's a board game, basically, from the 50s, where people simulate uh, World War I. So they're up to seven players, according to the seven major nations. And you try to control these supply centers. So there are seven players that represent the seven major nations involved in World War One, And the goal is to control the majority of these supply centers that are spread across Europe. How that game happens is then that you have a negotiation period where you negotiate with other parties that can be limited to five minutes, for example, in a real game. Uh, but these negotiations, they are non-binding and, and, and they are private. And then after the negotiations are over, the next move happens simultaneously. And then you will see who you can trust or not. Because who tells you that after negotiation, they didn't, you know, they didn't game you. They, they told you something. Oh, who says that the others really trusted what you told them? So it's a strategy game based on trust. And what this research team from, from Meta did here is it programmed an artificial intelligence to play the game. Now, none of the humans playing the game suspected that there is an artificial intelligence and it ended up in the top 10% of the players playing that game. It actually also gave advice to other players and guided them in certain directions. So as it said here, Cicero, that's the name of the AI, successfully changed the other player's mind by proposing mutually beneficial moves. So Cicero or Cicero, here is France and Turkey is the human. So the AI says, I'll work with you, but I need Tunis for now. Like I need to capture uh, Tunis. The human says, nope, you gotta let me have it. The AI says, no, I need it. You have Serbia and Rome to take. The human says, well, that's, that are impossible targets. And the AI says, well, no, look, you go Greece, you go Anna, you go Tira, you go Zerda. And the human says, well, mm -mm. well, actually you're right. Good idea. And then the AI says, well, then in fall you take Rome, and Austria collapses. So that's how you, so the human is like, well, well, thank you, super intelligence for your guidance of how to go about it. Now, the interesting thing was that Cicero was actually quite straightforward and honest with his, its intention. So as this research study here says, despite dishonesty being commonplace in diplomacy, we were able to achieve human level performance and better by con on average by controlling the agent's dialogue through the strategic reasoning model to be largely honest and helpful to its speaking partners. So that's how they actually programmed the AI. So they said, well, we want to program it like this. And this was also because the researchers needed to come up with some definition of intention. What is an intention. And they basically define an intention to be when your actions are in agreement uh, with what you say. So Cicero conditioned its dialogue on the action that it intends to play for the current term. That's just how they programmed it. This choice also then maximizes Cicero's honesty and its ability to coordinate. So it was a choice by the programmers, probably in search for a tangible definition of what intention is, that they just said intention is just when you do what you say, that's, that is your intention when you say what you do. So at the end, turned out that Cicero was very honest. And with that, but turning out among the top 10% of the players in this game, it also spread the idea of honesty. And actually, that's a very established, well-known result from game theory, that in many repeated games with a perfect memory, honesty will prevail. Well, the, the, the problem is that it one of the problems why dishonesty prevails is because we just forget. As the old saying goes, uh, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, well then I forgot, so sh shame on me. So an, a super intelligence AI will make sure you don't forget that you fooled one before, and then defection in a game theoretic sense doesn't pay off. So. In that game, honestly, 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 <laughs> will, will prevail and will be beneficial for everyone. So injecting an honest AI into that game, convincing others that honesty can prevail and holding them accountable is actually in that sense improving. I mean, it's not like humans are the most honest thing 
Viera came up with. It's probably not too difficult to come up with an AI that is more honest than the average human.